There's no doubt about it, and we saw it last night when he came in and pinch in, had that big home run, but Garrett Cole told me after the game that he was really the player of the game, not just because of the offense, yes, that put the Yankees ahead, but also because of what he did behind the plate, blocking countless balls from Aroldis Chapman there in that ninth inning, and you look at the offensive side of things, it hasn't just been yesterday, it's been over the last two-plus weeks where Sanchez really seems to have found his groove at the plate. When John Carlos Stanton was asked last night what the difference has been for Sanchez he pointed to the balance at the plate staying on his legs a little bit better now I spoke to DJ LeMahieu about it today and he said Sanchez just looks calm he looks confident he looks at ease and it doesn't look like he's feeling too much when he's in the batter's box and that's when Gary Sanchez is at his best and Bob it was pretty funny today here at Salem Field things are starting to get back to normal but for reporters it felt a little bit more normal today about 20 minutes ago Ago, Aaron Judge uh, was sitting here in the dugout. There was a scrum of media around him. He too was asked about Gary Sanchez, and he stressed the fact that people do not realize how difficult it is for a catcher to not only game plan for an opposing offense and go to those pitchers' meetings, making sure they're prepared in that regard, but also to stay locked in offensively. He called him a highly intelligent hitter, and he quoted uh, that you saw that last night, and you've seen that over the last two plus weeks, last 16 games, 340 average, five home runs, 11 RBIs. Now the Yankees are hoping that that continues and they see more consistency from Sanchez this year, but really you have to give him a lot of credit because he heard the criticism, he heard the boos, and he did not let it derail him. Instead, he continued to work hard with Marcus Timms, and now we are finally seeing some results from Sanchez. Uh, Meredith, one of the things Buck's been talking about in not only this series, but the prior one is the value of Tyler Wade on that bench and the impact he can have. Now, he He's done that in a pinch running role, et cetera, and in the field on defense late in games, but that's changing tonight. He's in the lineup, so tell us about that. Well, oftentimes when DJ LeMahieu is at first base, we see Rugnet Odor at second. But today, Aaron Boone opted to go with Tyler Wade there. I asked him why, and he said for about a week now, he's been trying to find a spot to get Tyler Wade in that starting lineup. You mentioned some of the things that we have seen him do lately, really coming up big late in games, whether it be as a pinch runner or defensively. But Aaron Boone was asked if a good performance from Wade could lead to some more starts just been wanting to get him in there obviously he hasn't gotten a lot of starts um you know he's played an important role for us off the bench but you know just felt like i i've kind of been a few times here over the last week or two um you know considered him getting in there and getting a start and and just felt like today uh was a good day to have him in there and and, and get him a start and hopefully get him a few abs and you know hopefully he can tr contribute obviously with his speed and defense, but, but uh, hopefully be a little bit of a spark for us at the bottom of the order too.